All right, so the next question I want to address is why you should study chemistry. Um, obviously, you chose to take this class for one reason or another. You might have sort of been forced into it, who knows? But learning more about chemistry can um, allow you to become a more informed citizen um, if you allow it to. Um, it explains the natural world, so you're going to learn how a lot of things work that you might have wondered about. You might not have even wondered about, but hopefully we'll be able to explain a lot of things. Um, just kind of a cursory glance at some of the things. Um, you're going to be better prepared for a career. Um, you're going to know some things that, <clears throat> like I said, you never thought of. Um, that's sort of common knowledge, or at least should be. Uh, and hopefully you'll come away a better person for that, more prepared for college. Um, there's a lot of everyday things that you use that involve chemistry. For instance, uh, Teflon cookware. Now, there's a whole nother side of that that I think we might take a little bit of time to look at. Uh, I grew up near a DuPont plant, and so there was a little bit of drama with that, but uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when... Uh, the time comes. But a lot of things that you use every day, such as fiber optics, uh, Teflon, all that sort of stuff, it involves uh, very specific uh, chemistry, and the chemistry is very important, uh, just like it is in a lot of things. So medicine and biotechnology, you have to be well aware of the chemistry, not only of the body, but of, for instance, artificial hips, knees, anything that you put into the body, uh, drugs also. Um, when we're coming up with prescriptions, uh, you have to be aware of how all of this stuff is going to react with the body. You can't just go putting metal pieces into your body without knowing how that metal is going to react with that part of the body. You can't just go putting drugs into your body without knowing how it's going to react not only with your body, but with other drugs that that person may be taking. Um, so there is a whole lot, and like I already mentioned in uh, another video, biochemistry is looking at how biology in general uh, is chemistry. It's just a little bit different perspective there. Uh, agriculture is another field that a lot of people overlook how important chemistry is uh, to it. You have to, we, in order to support uh, the number of people that live around the world, you have to know how to uh, grow crops at a very efficient level uh, not only for that but for the farmers to be able to make money they have to be efficient so they need to know the chemistry of uh, how to dealing how to deal with soil how to get the best crops possible keep bugs off the crops um, there's also this little tidbit this is just kind of a fun fact if you didn't know there is <coughs> a gene from a jellyfish that they can actually take and put in a potato plant and it causes the potato plant to glow when it needs water so that's just kind of fun a uh, little uh, tidbit about how chemistry can be useful um, but yeah like I said crop protection you have to be able to keep the bugs from eating all the crops but not making it dangerous for people to eat there's just a whole lot going on there uh, another maybe obvious one is in protecting the environment are dealing with things that could be harmful uh, to the public in general. A great example is lead. Uh, we use lead like crazy until finally we discovered that it is damaging and it can uh, hurt the nervous system of people. Um, and so we're always looking for new poisons. That takes me back to the Teflon thing. We, we're definitely gonna talk about that. Um, but look at this. Uh, this is a little chart showing you a percentage of children with elevated blood levels in the years. See how it just kind of dropped off? Now, granted, that was an eight-year gap between 1980 and 1988. So, but still, in eight years, that's a big drop. It's all because we learned about the chemistry. We learned lead was harmful, and so we took care of business. Um, and just properties of matter in general, when you use things, uh, typically you're using them because of their chemical properties. You use graphite to write with in your pencil because it spreads easily and it makes the dark mark on your paper. Bamboo is a great choice for chopsticks. Uh, it doesn't have odor or taste. 
you can split it to make the sticks, but yet it's hard enough that you can pick up food, it's heat resistant, it won't burn you when you're using it. So uh, we're gonna start looking at how to classify matter here soon, but hopefully you can get a new perspective on just how involved chemistry is into your everyday life. All right, that's all for this one.